Good evening. With just five days until the election, all eyes are on the hotly contested governor's race in South Dakota. In fact, Vice President Mike Pence will join the Republican candidate Kristi Noem in Rapid City for a get out the vote rally on Monday. Now, the governor's race has been a tight one. If you remember the last time we conducted our Kelloland Media Group Argus Leader Scientific Poll between October 18th and the 22nd, the race was a tie at 45 percent. Since then, both candidates have unleashed a barrage of political ads, most of them negative against each other. But has the negative campaigning made a difference? The gloves are off, and it looks like it's going to be a fight to the finish to see who will be the next governor of South Dakota. According to our most recent Cutterland Media Group Argus Leader poll, we asked again if the election were held today, who would you vote for? 44 percent replied Sutton. 47 percent said no, still within the margin of error. 8 percent are still undecided. We really do. We think that our my vision for the state of South Dakota really reflects South Dakota values and, and common sense. And so that's really what uh, we've been talking about, traveling across the state, stopping in towns, asking for people's votes one-on-one. -on -one. Sutton says he's not worried. No, I mean, there's still uh, 8 percent undecided out there, and that's probably going to decide this race. Uh, and we feel very confident that uh, we can win those folks over as we continue meeting people and we close out this campaign, and it's just going to be a fun ride to the end. We also asked the same 500 registered voters, would you say that things are on the right track in South Dakota or the wrong track? 68% said on the right track, while 19% said the wrong track. 13% are not sure. I think there's a lot of things in South Dakota that we do right. Um, but what we need to do is take it to the next level. And people are really recognizing that. Our GDP rate hasn't grown as much as it should have. Our wages haven't gone up like they should have. So that's what I've been talking about in this state. What can we do to make sure that our small businesses are able to expand, that we can raise wages, and then bring that next big industry into our state? Uh, what we've heard from folks are concerns about transparency and accountability in state government. and. Uh, that message is really resonating and then also about, you know, finding common ground and bringing people together. And that's where I said, you know, from the very beginning that I'm going to work with the president to grow South Dakota's economy and work together to find common ground and find solutions. And that's what we'll continue to do throughout the race. You can check out all the numbers from our poll online at Kelderland.com.